The Arctic and Antarctic are our planet's final frontiers. Vast, inhospitable, but not as isolated as we might think. What happens at the poles doesn't stay at the poles. It affects the entire globe. And the reality is, the poles are changing fast. The effects of global warming due to greenhouse gas emissions are felt more intensely in the polar regions than anywhere else. The Arctic and parts of the Antarctic are warming twice as rapidly as the rest of the world, causing melting of glaciers and ice shelves, shrinking sea ice and snow cover. Polar wildlife, ecosystems and indigenous populations are already feeling the impact of climate change. Traditional knowledge about the environment, passed down through many generations, has recorded these changes. Because of teleconnections, the poles influence weather and climate conditions in lower latitudes, where hundreds of millions of people live. Warming Arctic air masses and declining sea ice are believed to affect ocean circulation and the jet stream, and are potentially linked to extreme phenomena, such as cold spells, heat waves and droughts in the Northern Hemisphere. Dramatic environmental shifts in the poles are also opening them up to increased human activities. Fisheries and natural resource exploitation are becoming more feasible, while the tourism industry is targeting the Arctic and Antarctica as exotic destinations. Shipping activity has expanded, and the journey through the Arctic is a real possibility by the middle of the century. The expected increase in activity comes with its own share of risks. Ice-laden polar seas are a challenge to navigate, whilst any oil spills could be catastrophic. All of this means that the availability of accurate weather and environmental information for the poles will become increasingly vital. Outside the polar regions, reliable forecasts based on decades of research inform a broad range of decisions. These range from the choice of everyday clothing to aircraft routes, to mass evacuations to protect lives from storms or floods. But when it comes to the extraordinary environmental conditions prevailing at the poles, our weather and climate models and forecasting systems have serious shortcomings. The Arctic and Antarctic are the world's most poorly observed regions, even though some are on the doorstep of densely populated areas. As observational capacities have lagged behind, we are ill-equipped to meet the risks and take advantage of potential benefits of polar change. We have much more to learn about the polar region's unique weather and sea ice conditions to ensure we are prepared for the future. Understanding both past and present weather and climate is the key to being prepared for the future. To drive this new focus, the World Meteorological Organization, Germany's Alfred Wegener Institute, and partners around the globe have launched the Year of Polar Prediction to improve hourly to seasonal forecasts of polar weather, climate, ice, and ocean conditions. This two-year global initiative aims to bring together scientists, academics, and operational forecasting centers to accelerate and coordinate international cooperation and research enhance observations and boost collective knowledge. Social scientists will look at how polar forecasts can be factored into socio-economic decision-making, whilst key stakeholders in transport, shipping and tourism sectors will provide input on the practical needs of the user community. Core activities of the Year of Polar Prediction will take place from mid-2017 to mid-2019 to cover a complete year at both poles. During special observing periods, researchers and agencies will deploy additional buoys in the ocean and on the ice, launch more weather balloons from meteorological stations and research vessels, coordinate aircraft and satellite missions, and install new automatic weather stations in polar regions. Observational data will be shared via the WMO information system allowing operational forecasting centers around the world to receive the data in real time to feed their forecasts. The science and technology improvements developed under the umbrella of the Year of Polar Prediction will both strengthen our physical understanding of the Arctic and Antarctic and provide the foundation of better observational and predictive systems for the future. Through improved cooperation and understanding, we can protect our planet's final frontiers 
and chart a safer, more enlightened and sustainable course through uncharted territory.